or go to the rule number two. Rule number two, they say any number raised to the power one is that number. Any number raised to the power one is the same number. So for example, we have got five, five raised to the power one, which gives us same applies to five. So five raised to the power one is the same as five. That is rule number two. So rule number two, we have got any number which is uh, raised to the power one is the same number. That is rule number two. Rule number three is when you're multiplying numbers with the same base. So these are the same base. We have got this one and this one. They are the same base. So if you have got the same base E, what do you do to the powers? We add the powers. So the index, we add the index. So same uh, same base, we add the index. This is what it is. So, example, if we have got, for example, 2 to the power 4 multiplied by 2 to the power 3, for example. So, 2 to the power 4 multiplied by 2 to the power 3. So, we have got the same base. So, this base and this base, they are the same. So these two bases, it can be any number, it can be 5, 5, it can be 6, 6, it can be 7, 7, yeah, it can be any base. So what are we supposed to do? We get that base, and then we add the powers. So it will be 4 plus 3, that's how it is. And then it will give us 2 to the power 4 plus 3, it will give us 7, so it's same as 2 to the power 7. These are the rules that we're going to use. These are the rules that we're going to use as we proceed to the examples, other examples that I'll give. Okay, rule number four. We are dividing numbers with the same base. We are dividing numbers with the same base. What do we do to the powers? You subtract the powers. So we subtract the powers. Quite okay. So we say, for example, we have got uh, uh, three to the power four. 3 to the power 4 divided by 3 to the power 2. That is it. So we are dividing. These are the same bases, and then we are dividing the uh, we are dividing numbers which has got the same base. What do you do to the powers? You subtract the powers. So we are going to say 3 to the power 4 minus uh, 3, which gives us 3 to take away. Oh, it's a 2 here, sorry. So, there's a 2 there. So, it's a 2 here. So, for take away 2, it will give us 3 to the power 2. That is...